Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a video on my 2021 planner stack. Now I know most people do this video in January, you know, at the start of the year, but you know, I had to be different. No, the truth is uh, I knew my late, my, my lineup was going to be changing a little bit. So I decided to just wait until I had everything in order and then I would film my planner stack. So I'm excited to uh, flip through these with you guys today and kind of explain how I use each planner. Okay, so first of all here, uh, this is my favorite. This is my kind of my home base, my catch-all planner. And this is a classic Happy Planner size planner, but it's not a Happy Planner. It is just a completely custom disc bound planner that I made. And can we just, can we just take a minute? I know I've shown these before, but let's just appreciate them one more time. Bat discs. Yeah, they're from Muse Lab on Etsy. Um, they are no longer available because they were very limited edition. But Muse Lab does have a bunch of really great stuff, so I will link them in the description. So here in my catch-all, like I said, this is really my home base. This is where I put work tasks, personal stuff, appointments. So this is like my main planner. This is what I started out with and then branched off and kind of broke everything down and ended up with like 18 different planners. But um, so as you can see, it's very, you know, customizable. Um, that's what I like about the disc bound system. And obviously the ring bound system would be the same thing. I just don't happen to, you know, I haven't branched into the ring bound system yet, but uh, this, this free printable is from Shauna Klingerman. You should definitely check it out. It's beautiful. I just printed it on vellum. Then there's a printable from Archer and Olive. Really great. Um, it's also, you can find that on their website. Then I just have a folder. Just, you know, everybody needs a folder. And then I just have a piece of just reusable sticker paper that I um, just kind of, you know, trimmed down, punched it, and threw it in there just to kind of hold some stickers. Uh, if I just have my planner and nothing else, I at least have some stickers that I can use, you know, if that's all I have on me. And then I have a beautiful, oh, I love it. I printed it on vellum. So this is a digital pattern from Bare Necessity Sticker Co. And I am just obsessed with it. Uh, I love how it, it came out on the vellum. And yeah, I just love it. It's like a layering piece. And then I have a washi dashboard which I love. It has washi from Honeybee Shop and Cookie Sticker Co. And then on the back there is just uh, some cardstock from a Halloween paper pack from Recollections. And then, um, you know, here we just have some layouts that I did in March. And what I love about this planner is that I can, you know, change it up constantly. Like this insert is from Lights Planner Action. So that week, that's what I wanted to do. So that's what I did. Um, I love being able to, you know, change like depending on my mood I can change inserts I can draw my own layouts I can print out you know uh, printables from different planner shops and just really kind of change it up um, and then that week I drew my own layout just did a vertical layout and it's just fun to be able to change it up then I went back to the lights planner action printables that I had purchased and then more lights planner action inserts if you can't tell I've really been into those um, but yeah this is my main catch-all planner all right, moving into the next planner. Yes, I got a passion planner and I never thought I'd have one just because I'm not typically an hourly layout person, but let me just kind of explain what happened. So um, passion planner runs sales on their website all the time and they had a sale for Pi day and it was $3 and 14 cents for this passion planner, any size. And the shipping was $10, but $13 and 40 cents shipped. For a passion planner I was like okay Cass th this is your sign because you know if you've seen on my channel before the social media planner I was using was a disc bound half letter and it's actually just a notebook that I kind of turned into a, a planner sort of kind of and I was just kind of over it I wasn't feeling inspired to use it so I'm going to uh, kind of put that to the side use it just as a notebook which is how it started out and then my passion planner is my new social media planner um, and I have only been using it for a short time, but I think this is really working for me. I'm loving it so much. And I'm really obsessed with like 
the quality of this player like the quality is really nice the paper is super nice um i just love everything about it and you know like i said i i really used to despise hourly layouts like that's not my jam and for like planning in my catch-all and you know mostly like a general rule I, i'm not an hourly planner however sometimes i am and i think that's what's great with this particularly you know this is my social media planner my content planner I'm planning out, you know, when I'm going to record my podcast, when I'm going to record YouTube videos, when I'm going to edit, when I'm going to schedule them, you know, when they're going to go up. Um, ideas I have for filming, you know, Instagram reels and TikToks and things I want to post on Instagram and just different like projects that I'm working on. And I love being able to, you know, having that hourly is great for like posting when a YouTube video is going to go up, when the podcast is going to go up. But I also love, you know, like just from seeing other people online, it's so easy to cover the hourly column just with a piece of washi or, you know, there are shops that sell passion planner um, kits and they have stickers that completely cover the, you know, the little strip of the uh, hourly layout. So if I don't want to do hourly, I have the option of covering that up, but I, I really am liking it a lot. And, you know, like I said, I've only been in it for a short time and I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. This bottom section here on the left, I'm really, I'm going to keep playing with it, but I'm currently using it for ideas. So I broke it down into podcast ideas, TikTok and Reels, and then YouTube ideas. And um, that's just kind of how I'm using it for that current week, but I'm going to definitely keep changing it up and finding what works for me. Um, and I'm planning on doing some color coding, which is something I used to do in my catch-all way back when. And um, I was really inspired by Shan from the Honeybee Shop to kind of break down my days and like, so I have Monday is for taking photos. And then Tuesday, I focus on filming. Wednesday, I focus on editing. Thursday, scheduling. And obviously, I'm not going to beat myself up if, you know, if there's a Tuesday where I'm either too busy or I'm not mentally in the headspace to film, then I just won't. And I'll just, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. But I really like breaking it down like that because it makes me feel like, I'm actually spending less time overall when I plan it this way rather than like sitting down on like a Thursday night and being like, all right, I'm going to film, I'm going to take these pictures, I'm going to edit, I'm going to schedule, like I'm doing it all in one day and that's just not, that's, that doesn't make sense. Work smarter, not harder. So I'm focusing on breaking it down into days and really just trying to stick to that. And then I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, where I basically am just on social media, interacting with other people. I'm not creating stuff. Um, I, I mean, I can, obviously, but I'm not creating stuff like, you know, I don't have to film anything. I don't have to share anything. Um, and I can just have that time to really just create for fun. If I feel like sharing it, I will, but it's not like a necessity. So I'm using this to just keep track of the things I definitely want to share. And it's really, really working for me so far. So... Yeah, I have a passion planner. Um, again, never thought I would, but really loving it. Love how it lays flat. Again, love the paper quality. <sighs> I just love it. <laughs> and I could never use the passion planner for my catch-all just because, you know, when I showed you the catch-all, like I'm very, I like to change things up very frequently. I love making things for my, for my catch-all. Because it's disc bound, I can easily create dividers and things. And it's just... I don't know. It's I just really like that system for my catch-all, but for social media planning, this is working out really well so far. And I haven't even gotten into this whole like monthly reflection section and and the roadmap and all the stuff. <laughs> I really haven't even, you know, I've really only scratched the surface in this planner. I'm really excited to uh, see where it takes me. All right, now we're moving into my budget planner. And this is a 2020 2021 planner from bloom daily planners and i actually it came spiral bound and i turned it into a disc bound planner i do have a video here on my channel if you're interested in how to do that but um i just really wanted it to be i wanted to be able to take things out and add things in so spiral is just not it's just not my jam it, it's just not so i turned it into a disc bound planner here is just kind of what it looks like it is it is dated and it does run out in July. And it's just a simple horizontal layout. I put some dot gray paper there in the back just to be able to pop it in and use it. And it's a very simple planner, um, but it's been working for me for budgeting. So when it runs out in July, I will have to replace it with something else. But 
it has been working for me thus far. All right, if you've been on my channel before, I know you've seen this. This is the MCR B6TN. It is a traveler's notebook, B6 size, approximately five by seven. And this is my traveler's notebook dedicated to my favorite band, which is MCR, My Chemical Romance. And um, I do have a whole playlist here on my channel from the, you know, I have a whole video explaining why I felt compelled to create this. I talked about my love for the band, my history with the band and, and all that. If you're interested, I do have a playlist that I will link. Um, and I have, you know, how I created the inserts, the dividers. That pin is from Natty Cat Pins. You should definitely check them out. Um, and you'll see stickers throughout this that those beautiful holographic stickers, those are from Karen Cunningham. I will link her as well. She's amazing. Um, but yeah, I created the, the designs. Um, well, this Unleash the Bats art right here is the exception. And that is from my friend Ainsley. I'm going to link her Instagram. She's an amazing artist and amazing person. Um, and she was kind enough to let me print that and put it in my notebook. Um, and then that is that same pattern from Bare Necessities Sticker Co., The Bats and the Stars. And then, you know, the covers for these inserts I designed myself. And I'm just using things that I have in my collection. I printed some stickers and photos and stuff. Did some kind of art journaling. And it's just been, it's been really fun. Um, I haven't, you know, gotten too far into it. But I've just really been having fun with it. And it's nice to have just a dedicated place to you know journal and and you know create art surrounding my favorite band and it's just it's something that's like really special to me i love this this thing so much i love this project i put my heart and soul into it and i'm going to continue to make videos on it of me you know creating spreads in here and doing art journaling and and all that um it's just been really fun and the cover itself the black traveler's notebook cover is from the honeybee shop so, yeah, I bought that the second it was released because I knew I wanted a all black cover. And then they came out with one and I was like, yep, I'm going to buy that. Just going to show this real quick. Uh, yeah, just still can't believe that happened. But that's that's me and Gerard. All right. And now we have another Traveler's Notebook. And this is my video game theme Traveler's Notebook. And this is what I use to... Uh, I'd use it for a few different things. It has a lot of keychains. So <laughs> these cute Animal Crossing stickers are from the Honeybee shop. I love them. Um, but I use this to journal about, I wanted a dedicated place again to, uh, like I did with the MCR one, I wanted a dedicated place to journal about video games that I'm playing because it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And I kind of have just like in random notebooks, but it was never like one cohesive thing. So I wanted to just have this one like home base for, you know, when I'm playing a game that I'm really into, particularly like a story based game, and I want to journal about how I'm feeling about it. I have a journaling insert that I can do that in. Um, and the I know the paper clip on top is crooked. I'm so sorry. I don't know how I didn't notice that <laughs> when I was filming, but it's a bag of bells from Animal Crossing, if you can't tell. And that sticker is also from Honeybee Shop. And then I also use this for, um, you know, not only journaling, but memory keeping. And I really wanted, again, a dedicated place for video game memory keeping um, and not have it because I just have so much of it. And I wanted a place to kind of inspire me to keep, you know, printing out these screenshots and, um, you know, keeping track of these memories that I've made in games. And then I have this insert here in the back that I'm actually going to be swapping out because I got an insert from Light Splinter Action, a monthly insert. But I really just want to use this to keep track of game releases that I'm interested in. Um, and so you'll see there, I just, I didn't, it was just, you know, plain paper and I, yeah, I wanted to get a monthly insert. And so I did. And that actually just arrived like five minutes ago. So uh, I'll be working in that soon. So be sure to follow me on Instagram to uh, check out how that, uh, how that pans out. I'll definitely be taking some photos and videos of that. And I just have some art tucked away in the back. But yeah, this is my video game themed Traveler's Notebook. Okay, now we have the Traveler's Notebook. I swear it's the last one. 
that uh, this is the one that started it all. So yeah, um, these stickers on the front. Oh my gosh. So the tattoo planner babe, like Funko Pop thing, is from Honeybee Shop, as well as the, oh my god, the femme tattooed Hades. I, I'm, I'm obsessed with her. I, Hercules is one of my favorite Disney movies. Uh, so I had to have that. I need to kind of work on my pocket game. It's kind of, kind of struggling there. But, you know, it is what it is. The magnet's from Honeybee Shop. Uh, most of this stuff's from Honeybee Shop. It just kind of worked out that way because I, I love Honeybee Shop. Um, and so I use this for general memory keeping. So just an example there. Um, and then I have my mood tracking insert where I attempt to track my moods. And I, yeah, I, I, I did February. February I completely did every single day. And then March came along and yeah, I got, I, I got to catch it up. But anyway, that's my mood tracking insert. And then I have a, a journaling insert, and this is where I just do my, like, brain dump journaling. Some call it stream of consciousness journaling, where you just, you just kind of sit down and start writing. Like, don't think about what you're going to write, just write about how you're feeling, write about your day, whatever's on your mind, and just, just keep writing. So that's what I use that for. I don't do it every day, sometimes not even every week, but when it hits me, I do it. And then I have this beginner brush lettering guide, which has been so awesome. This came in one of the Honeybee Shop Babe boxes, and I just think it's such a great idea, and it's really helped me improve my hand lettering. I still have a long way to go, but I really am proud of my progress. And then I have an old journaling insert, you know, tucked in the back there that's full. I need to put it on the shelf. Um, that beautiful sticker, the Justice for Breonna Taylor, was from um, Bare Necessity Sticker Co., and then that picture was something I took in Philadelphia. And Murder Shows in Comfy Clothes, love that sticker so much from Muse Lab as well. And the rest of those are from Honeybee Shop with the exception of that bat, which I made with my Cricut. So yeah, that is the last Traveler's Notebook, I swear. I I know, three, I, I know. Okay, last but not least, God, I love this thing. This is my art journal. And this is from Archer and Olive, and my beautiful friend Queen from Queen's Fancy Plans got this for me for my birthday. So thank you so much again, Queen. Um, I absolutely love this. Like, the, the only problem with Archer and Olive is you get one and then you're like, yeah, I think I want like 20 of these. That's the only negative thing I could say. <laughs> I am just so in love with it. Oh my gosh, and I haven't even done that much in it. Now, I haven't even done, like, the front page, but we're, we're getting there. So, this is my first art journaling spread, and I created this. Um, I need to cut those little pieces of sticker off. But I created this um, just kind of, it's kind of like my self-care, self-love kind of vibe, and I was inspired by Shauna Klingerman, who is, like, the queen of art journaling. Uh, you should check out her channel here on YouTube um, to create that, and then I did a little... Uh, MCR themed, which I know you're probably like, why didn't you do that in the MCR B6TN? But if you saw, if you if you paid attention, um, I actually scanned this and then printed it as a sticker in the MCR B6TN. <laughs> I, to I totally forgot that I did this late one night. I need to print out some photos, but just going to print some photos of uh, my husband and I when we got vaccinated. And yeah, just... It's kind of a historic thing. So yeah, that's all I've done so far, but I'm really excited um, to continue my art journaling practice and, you know, get inspired by Shauna and, and others like her to, you know, improve my art journaling and just keep, keep creating. It's been very therapeutic. All right, y'all. So that is my 2021 planner stack. I know it's, it's a little crazy. I can't believe how many I have at this point, but uh, really at this point, I like everything to be separated. I used to really like to keep everything in one, but I like to have separate dedicated things, at least right now at this point <laughs> in my planner journey. Um, but I'm really happy with my, with my planner stack and my planner lineup. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. It really helps out the channel. I have links to my podcast, my 
Patreon, uh, my Instagram, all that good stuff in the description box. So I encourage you to check that out. I appreciate your support so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, oh, and be sure to turn on notifications because I have some videos coming up very soon that you might be interested in. All right, have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.